slow, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the known, man, I still go Go, go Yo, what is good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I bring you a super dope video with me and my boy Raul. Today we are shooting a little video that has to do with uh, a new project that's coming to, you know, our casa essentially. As you guys seen in my last video, I did get a new toy, which was my C5 Z06. It looks like my boy Raul, he must have liked it or something because he had to check out what he just got. Here's his beautiful 97 C5 Corvette. Oh, she's wet. We got a little story to say about this one, but uh, just wanted to show you guys real quick with them side by side. Yes, sir. They look beautiful. Oh, man. Like my boy Raw saying, this is America. This is what America looks like. <laughs> Some ketchup and mustard. Old Eagles. Yes, my hair looks messed up. For you guys that know and have been following along on my channel, you might actually recognize this car. I don't know, Raul, you tell them what that is. So, this is the JR Garage Corvette. 300,000 mile Corvette that uh, I had originally got. I sold it to a friend of mine because a local shop in town blew the engine and didn't take responsibility for it. I'll put their link in the description. No, I won't. I'm not going to shout them out. They are horrible and they know who they are, but they blew the engine on this car. And at that time, financially, I had to get rid of it. My buddy ended up buying it and putting a new engine in it and making it look the way it does now. It's beautiful and actually runs really well. And he ended up selling it to my boy, Raul, the realtor. Yay. Sell and buy with me, invest, let's go. Raul plans to take this C5 to the next level. And that's the truth. That's what this channel is gonna be moving towards. Some builds on these vets and a couple other things as well. Let's get into today's video. That's kind of the gist of it. We're mobbing around in our C5s, our American bald eagle cars, and uh, just kind of going over some stuff and uh, getting some in-depth looks. I've been driving my Z06 for a little while now and uh, definitely have some things I want to address. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it overall. But yeah, let me just let the cars do the talking for a second. Let's take a look at those. Oh yeah. Something about a fixed roof coupe is, is uh, sexy in its own on a drag pack. I'm not gonna lie. But something about a slammed freaking C5. Oh man, this thing is track spec ready. Has track style wheels on it. They're Momo wheels. Has coilovers on it now, hood vent, got this custom front lip and some cooling mods done to it. And it is ready for the track and it has already been on the track. If you guys can remember, it has the, the aftermarket seats. So I can't even see it. I gotta open the door, but it has the, uh, the seats on it, stick shift, rear wheel drive. And obviously, you know, you got the Z06 seats in this one. But what we're doing out here in this parking lot is Raul's going to be doing an unveiling of his video for his social media, letting everybody know that he has picked up this uh, C5 and going to be starting a build on it. So let's do this. Let's get this video going. Choo! As you can see, he's over here recording his stuff, going to be making his little clips. But yeah, these cars just look fantastic together, to be honest. Two different complete styles of the same thing. It's unique. With my boy rocking that Corvette shirt, though, killing it. Choo! Tell me you're not a vet owner without having a vet shirt. I know. I just literally bought this like the day of. <laughs> there you go. That's so dope, dude. What do you think about the wheels, though? Come on. Come on. Honest opinion. I love them. What do you yeah. think? I'm not going to change anything about the car. Oh, my gosh. I love them. I love them. He wants to do the wheels black. Come on. Black. Black he black. wants black. What do you guys think? Black wheels? Black. I think the gold and red looks dope. But gloss black, powder coated gloss black would be pretty fire. It would be pretty fire. I don't know. I think he needs vet lights. I think we both need vet lights. What do you guys think? No. Up in the front. OG, he wants to keep his OG. I ended up doing some vet lights in the rear on mine. I liked it. All right, so we are now in the vet. Raul's getting in his vet, and we're gonna go for a little drive. It's kind of hot today, so I'm sweating. Taking off the front lip. Fair 
do it. think about Rose C5 man the old JR garage it came back to the channel back to YouTube man this Corvette has seen some things man 330,000 mile Corvette from well I got purchased in Arizona went to LA and now it remains living in Fresno California this thing has seen some stuff man crazy and we're in this one owner z06 so pretty dope pretty dope pretty dope Got the Corvettes out here. Got the Corvettes out here. At the light, at the light. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Had to get out and get a little view. We got the popos across the street. It's huge. Get my seatbelt back on. There's cops. <laughs> Are you recording me, recording you? Recording me, recording you? like driving some bald eagle freaking horse purrs under your damn butt cheeks ain't nothing like it man it's just smile from ear to ear you ain't got to be the fastest you ain't got to be the nicest newest car it just raw power stick shift rear wheel drive two-seater it's a fun day it's a fun day and then when your boy gets one too and you guys just mob around bright as can be jeez love it it's uh it's definitely an experience it's super fun super super fun i'm super happy about this build my boy's happy about his so fuck yeah <laughs>
All right, and I'm home. <laughs> It got hot again? Yeah. Yeah. All the way or? Yeah. Like yesterday. Oh, wow. Okay. So, whatever I did didn't work, so. But it did, though. It did, but it didn't. You were snatching way harder. So, basically, what we're all saying is uh, we still have a little bit of a project to work on this uh, JR Garage uh, Corvette. Uh, having a little issues with getting hot. Um, we went ahead and replaced the gaskets and switched it to a 160 uh, thermostat. But we're thinking that the water pump itself needs to be replaced because for some reason temps keep getting extremely high when it's hot outside. The car doesn't smoke or doesn't have any discoloration in the oil, nothing leading like a head gasket idea. But the thing is, is that only when it's hot outside and he starts doing some pulls, the temps just start rising. So we're gonna be trying to figure out what that is. But anyways, today's video is basically just to bring you guys along, showing you guys that my boy ended up getting a C5 as well and uh you know let you guys know about the c5 z06 and my feelings and opinion on it and i'm gonna let you guys know that now so overall after owning the car now going on two weeks i've owned numerous corvettes i gotta say this has got to be one of my favorite vehicles go figure to own so far as just the seating position the comfortability the way it sounds the way it feels the heads that turn going to the gas station almost every single time i've gone to the gas station I had someone talking to me or asking me questions. I go to car meets and I have kids taking pictures in front of my car. It's a freaking blessing. I love it. The community behind having this uh, Corvette is super ideal and I can't wait to bring more videos and show you guys that. But it's like, it's like driving an American icon. Even though it's old, it just, it brings like just so much attention and I love it. And so, yeah, and then my boy now shares the same passion and is driving one as well with his own future goals. Uh, it's super dope for us to be able to collab and really, you know, boost this up. So I'm really pumped about it. My overall thoughts is uh, 10 out of 10 for owning the C5. And yes, the thing is crazy. It's not perfect. There's imperfections. There's blemishes. You know, I still don't have AC and I hate not having AC. And the thing is, is that I still, it's 100 degrees outside and I'm going to go drive the car again and sweat my ass off because I truly just in love driving the car. It's a driver's car. It's a race car and it's my new car and I love it. And uh, I hope to share it with you guys and I hope I can inspire some of you guys to want to go and get one of your own or at least go get behind the wheel and test drive one of your friends. And I think it'll definitely change your perspective. You don't need a brand new Hellcat. You don't need a brand new M3 to have fun and think that you're, you're doing something. You really just need to find something that makes you happy, that you're passionate about and that you want to just get in the car and it puts a smile on your face from ear to ear and for me it's the corvette i've always loved corvettes and now i'm thankful that i'm back in one again so uh, that's my video today guys i really hope you guys like it stay tuned like i said i do plan to put a blower on this a and a to be exact um possibly do an actual cam heads cam package and restore the paint or even wrap it i haven't decided fully yet but just stay tuned the channel's gonna be fun i promise I do intend to track this car. I want to take this to my local tracks, Button Willow, and get myself prepared for Laguna Sega. I want to take my car to Laguna Sega, and I want to bring you guys with me. And Raul here, he is on the same page. He wants to do the same thing. All in. He is all in. We want to track our vets. We want to go with our cars without blowers, and we want to go with our cars with blowers. With blowers. And we want to get the comparison between he's on coilovers, and I'm on the um, leaf spring. So I wanna see the difference in suspension versus having an actual true track Z06 versus having the base model C5, which is, there's not really much difference and we wanna see what the differences are. And between his motor with having what we call the barnyard or junkyard fine iron block 5.3 versus the flagship LS6, you know, right now on the roads they're not making a whole lot of difference in power and weight right now we're pretty even honestly it's whoever gets to jump on the on the race which is either my car is running like shit or his car is amazing one of the two but we're, at the end of the day that's what we're trying to do we're going to get a good comparison between the two so do you need to spend all the money and go get yourself a z06 to be in a fixed roof coupe or do you just need to pick up a regular old c5 with a six-speed manual and have just as much fun out on the track or just in general in a straight line so that's what my channel is going to be doing a little bit more towards you know still going to be doing some of the other basic stuff that i normally do but i uh, just want to let you guys know that i am leaning towards doing a lot of content potentially going into track 
and um, I'm gonna be opening up a merch store. Raul is holding me up to it. I'm gonna be bringing some merch to you guys and just stay tuned, okay? We're at 3,200 subscribers as of right now and by this time next year, I wanna double that. So stay tuned, rock with me, let's get to this next milestone and I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go. Yeah.